Hello YouTube, this is my first video about like fitness or like fitness content in general. And I'm about to talk to you guys, just thank you guys and all that. So if you wanna to get to like the actual part of the video, I'll put a timestamp like right here. But yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys. We got to about 290 subscribers. I'm really proud of that. Um, let's hope we can reach 300. It says that I think only like 89% of you guys are subscribed, but who watch my videos, but I'm still thankful for that like nine, 10% that are subscribed and uh, my returning subscribers or returning viewers is going up too. I went from like zero returning viewers. Now the uh, YouTube analytics is I have 16. So if you're a returning viewer and you uh, like the content, please hit the subscribe button, like the video. And this is a new type of video I'm gonna make. Um, this is gonna be about my, uh, I guess, weight gaining journey. I'm probably gonna name this like Road to 220 or like Road to 16 inch arms, either or. My goal is 16 inch arms right now. I would do 15, but I'm so close to 15 that I really, I'd probably hit that by like the first month of school. But what's it called? I've been working out for two years. Uh, when I first started, I was 128 pounds. And then currently this morning I was 194.4. One, I did get to like 197 and then I lost a bunch of weight because I just got lazy. I was enjoying summer, not tracking, not going to the gym consistently, but school's about to start. So I'm about to start going consistently. And for this series, I wanna, um, I wanna be able to track and keep progress of everything. And I guess make it like kind of scientific because my goal is to have 16 inch arms, like bigger arms. I always wanted bigger arms. Growing up, people always called me like twig arms, skinny arms. Cause when I first started, I had a uh, 10 inch arms. And last time I measured, I had 14.76. So I lost a couple of inches this summer from my uh, peak, I guess, weight and uh, yeah, it's gonna be the point in this journey. I'm also gonna track each individual like uh, exercise and show you guys like see if I can do like a chart correlating like the uh, the arm size growth to where it benefits my other exercises. Because in case someone's watching this in the future, they can probably get a gauge like okay, if I gain this much strength, possibly it's not set in stone, but possibly if I gain this much strength and gain this much weight. I might gain this much size, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this is not, uh, my experience would not be the same as everyone else's experience. I know people that I lift more than and weigh more than, and they're bigger than me, but I, it's cause I'm tall. Like, I bet you if I was like 5'9", five, 5'8", five, 195, I would be way bigger but I'm 6'3", pushing 6'4", so I need to weigh more to be at a certain size. Because when I used to weigh like 128, I thought getting to, uh, I thought getting to like 160 would make a big difference, but I gained a lot, I gained a lot of strength to me. Because when I first started, I can barely lift the bar. And I'd say after like a year, I was able to do like 135. And then my, my weight kind of plateaued. I was stuck at like 170 to 180 for like all my uh, sophomore year. I, I barely gained any weight. And then this summer, uh, I've been slowly gaining more weight. I had more free time, so it was easier to eat and stuff like that. But this school year, I told myself we're gonna make it past 200, I, I swear. And yeah, um, let's get to the uh, chart. Um, oh yeah. And to, uh, anyone who watches my fragrance content, scent of the day, Milano Privé. This stuff smells amazing. Highly recommend it. Does not last the longest, but it smells amazing. Okay, so what you're seeing on screen now is the graph that I'm going to be using to keep track of all of this. Uh, I'm doing a two-day split, full body, and no, this is not every exercise I'm doing. And I'm not doing every exercise on this list. So, what's it called? The list is just showing 
the uh, exercises that I plan to keep track of to increase or what I want to keep track of to see how they correlate to my arm growth. And so you, as you can see, I've only worked out when I started tracking the 12th and the 15th. And my arms measured 14.76 and for both arms on the first day. My weight was 192. Uh, my S and uh, the numbers here, these are my estimated one rep maxes based on the uh, sets I've done. And my plan is to only update them if I get a new higher estimated one rep max. And so if it goes lower, I'm gonna keep it the same number. If it gets higher or a little higher or any higher at all, I'm going to raise the number on this chart. And so as we can see, both arms measured at 14.76 the first day, I weighed 192. My estimated one rep max on the bicep curl was 99.3. My estimated one rep max on the cable curl for the first day was uh, 127.8. You know, tricep push down, Smith machine jam press, which my, it doesn't feel the best on my uh, elbows right now. It's feeling bad. The first day, I could barely do it. Uh, I tweaked my form a little bit. I don't have my like elbows, like I'll show you guys, like so like because they used to be like this, this hurts. So I bring them out a little bit and I still get a stretch on the triceps. And it's to still get like a good stimulus, you know what I'm saying? And then we have the overhead press and the bench press and the uh, overhead press machine. Uh, the overhead press machine is my max from like back when I was 180. So I haven't done overhead, I haven't done any overhead press machine work since like April. So I'm gonna update that once, cause it has to be way higher. And I know my, it's weird, my overhead press, this seems lower than my bicep curl, but what's it called? Um, I, that's only the one rep max I went for. I could have easily probably gotten another rep, but I was just, I didn't want to hurt nothing. So I just threw 195, and, no, 95 and did it. And as you can see, my arms grew a little bit in the uh, next workout. I gained a pound, gained a little bit of size on the arm. Bicep, uh, and when I say bicep curl, I mean the uh, easy bar bicep curl. It stayed the same, the estimated one rep max, because I didn't do it uh, the second day. My cable curl went up. I did more uh, weights and uh, reps. I went to failure, tricep pushdowns, still could only do 130 for eight. Um, Smith Machine Jam Press, I think I did, uh, yeah, 50 for 12, and that got me that estimated owner max of 70. Overhead Press, didn't do it. The Bench Press, uh, I got that estimated one rep max. Uh, even though I've done more, since I've done Bench on the 12th, and I did, what's it called? I forgot the weight, but I did it for a certain amount of reps and all that, and then I calculated my estimated one rep max, and it gave me that number. And so I was able to do the same amount, couldn't do no more. So that's still my estimated one rep max and the overhead press machine is obviously gonna stay stagnant until I start school. Cause that, I like the overhead press machine at my college is a, uh, it's called rec center. And yeah, uh, I kind of started this to help keep me, I guess on track. So I don't, you know, mess up. I want to be consistent with this and maybe it will push me harder so that I'll reach my goal weight of uh, or goal arm size of 16 inches by the uh, end of this uh, fall semester. And uh, yeah, this, this series is kind of to uh, kind, I wouldn't say educate because I don't know that much about fitness, but it's kind of here to like not educate but like give you guys my view on this and to uh, help keep me consistent and help me reach my goals and maybe it might motivate one of you guys to reach your goals and so I plan to do a uh, arm measurement at the end of each of these videos every every video and I plan to make these every week I don't know if I want to release it on a uh, Friday no or a Sunday or Monday but 
So let's see my current arm size right now. What is it as of today? Okay. Right arm is 14.82 and left arm, let's get the left arm. Fourteen point eight five. If you don't believe me, I have to flip it. But you know what I mean. Fourteen point eight five. And yeah, if I keep doing this stuff consistently, it should be higher next week. And yeah, I'll put my stats, my weight, and arm size right here. And I'll put that at the end of every video to help keep track of the process. And I also plan to add actual clips of me working out in future videos. I just got to get used to it. I'm still kind of nervous to record myself in the gym. But I'll probably be less nervous because once I go back to college, I'm going to be going to the gym like early in the morning and the gym's empty. So uh, I'm going to be less worried about that. And yeah. Hope you guys have a uh, wonderful rest of you guys' day. And I hope this video gets views because my last couple of videos did horrible. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll uh, see you guys later. Peace.